looking up for you tonight. The family of a Colorado Springs man found dead off Highway 67 in Divide. They're demanding answers. His body was found March 2nd. And since then, the family says they're getting conflicting stories from his friends about exactly what happened. News 5's Lindsay Jensen reports. Eduardo Castanito was found right here, just off of Highway 67. I'm told he was with friends coming back from a casino in Cripple Creek, but it's how he got here and the events surrounding his death that are causing his family to ask questions. I try to bring light just because, like I said, he's never really liked being alone. And it's not, if I could sit out here and be with him, I would, but I can't. His sister Maria Castaneda says his friends told her they last saw him on February 27th, but they didn't tell her that he was missing until Wednesday, March 1st. That's when she filed a missing persons report. But we also are asking a lot of questions just because we came Wednesday when I found out my brother was missing and we passed this place a thousand times and his body was not here on that Wednesday. The Teller County Sheriff's Office says detectives found him the next day. Maria says the friends who last saw him are telling her conflicting stories. The certain person he was with is that they went to the restroom. He went to the restroom. He got off to pee and they didn't see him. She tells me they also claim he jumped out of the car intentionally. I cry every single day and and me crying and sitting around is not going to help me get him back. I'm trying to talk to everybody and tell them that my brother didn't die because he wanted to die. Something happened to him. Maria says no matter what the situation was, her brother may still be alive if he was reported missing sooner. We're waiting for answers that it's not fair for us to sit around wondering what happened with my brother when people know what happened to my brother and there's like nothing we can do. The family is calling on the Teller County Sheriff's Office to release more information. But I do want individuals to know that we are in contact with the family member and, uh, and we are keeping them up to date with what information we do have. The Sheriff's Office Public Information Officer tells me they can't give any updates on an ongoing investigation. I know people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. And you want to make sure that um, you're being concise uh, because we don't want to give out false information and we certainly don't want to give out false hope either. She says she can't confirm whether Eduardo's death is being investigated as a suicide. So I reached out to the county's coroner but he says he cannot comment until the investigation is over. I love being there for him. I love telling him that everything was going to be okay and like everything and I wish I was there for him that day. <laughs> to speed up this investigation, the Teller County Sheriff's Office needs your help. If you have any information, call the number on your screen or you can go online to report anonymously. Reporting in Divide, I'm Lindsay Jensen for News 5.